I was a moody kid. I was an aloof kid. I kind of kept to myself. I liked, um, I think, that an early sort of pre-writing indication that I had the, um, the, the calling to be a writer was how much time I liked to spend alone. I wasn't antisocial. I had friends, but I didn't really want to hang out with them after school. What I saw of them at school was enough. Um, I needed to, to be in a room by myself even before I was writing just imagining things, just thinking about things. Um, if there was a weekend with too many cousins or other people around, I got a little edgy. I think the, the need to be by myself, um, which I've recognized in a couple of my own children, is, is one that um, uh, was respected by my grandmother, with whom I lived until my mom remarried, um, uh, as I told you when I was six. Um, and uh, I was fortunate to, to be in a big house, my grandmother's house, um, and there were lots of places to get off by herself and, and um, uh, imagine those things I didn't know. Uh, and um, I find as, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm 63, and I, my uh, capacity to be by myself and just spend time by myself hasn't uh, diminished any. I, um, that's a necessary part of, of being a writer. You better like being alone.